This is for my status class, determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. This here is a hook screw eye. And the first thing I do is we have the X and Y planes here. We draw the vectors. I kind of recreated it. And then draw a parallelogram. And then this, this middle guy is going to be the resultant um, vector, more or less. And that's what we're going to want to find for the angle and magnitude. So the first thing we do is we solve for what we can using what we know about trigonometry and geometry. And we know that this here is a 90 degree angle. We subtract the 15 that they give us and the 10. That leaves us with 65 degree angle here. And because we know a parallelogram should total 360 degrees, we're kind of able to determine that this is 115 degrees here. So the first thing we do to find the magnitude, we use the law of cosines, which this is the wonderful formula. So we denote what we want to solve for. I did denote that this was C because that's what we want to find because this is the resultant force. And we take that and then we, um, I labeled these A and B. So A, I'm sorry, A, B. So then we have C squared and we punch in the numbers as such into our nice little calculator. The one thing that I would forget sometimes is that this is squared. So to take the square root um, and we wind up with this number. Rounding can kind of be funny, so let's kind of take it as, it, as they ask for it. Um, and then there we have our resultant force, or our C. Sometimes it's uh, referred to F sub R. Um, and then this one for the direction, we use the law of sines, and this is the formula. And because we had already solved for C, and we do already know that the angle that corresponds to C is 115. We're going to use that and solve for our angle theta. So that's what we're going to do down here. So we have our C that we solve for. We know that that's 115, so that's a given. And then we're going to take this leg here, and we want to solve for what this angle will be. And so what we'll do is a little bit of algebra. I kind of switch things around to make it easier on myself. And then we got the um, sine of theta is equal to this long number, but we want just theta, so we take the arc sine or inverse sine of both sides. Will we wind up with a 39.66 degree angle in here? And of course, that's going to be from the x-axis, so we have to account for this additional 15 degrees. So we have 39.66 plus 15, so that's 54.66 degrees, and that's going to be the direction angle, and this will be the magnitude of the resultant force.